Well, what did Rick bring me today? An old cassette player. Oh my goodness. I didn't know they made him this old. <laughs> uh, as soon as Rick uh, gives me the information to his store, I will post the information at the bottom of the video. Uh, until then, uh, Rick just dropped this off. <laughs> he said I would enjoy it, so I think I would. I think I will. Uh, this probably goes back to way before my time. Hey kids, remember cassette tapes? Or should I say, hey fully grown adults? <laughs> and now I have, now hey grandparents, do you remember cassette tapes? Uh, I looked it up on the internet, so it must be true. Uh, cassette tapes came out in 1962. I was not aware of that. I only, I think I came about cassette tapes only in the early 80s. So um, it was new to me in the 80s. Maybe it just wasn't mainstream yet. You know, tapes had to climb a, a long ladder, defeating records, and then eight tracks, and then till it was brought up to its prominence, the cassette tape, and then CDs killed the radio star. <laughs> All right, but what do we got here? Uh, just push a button, create your own music collection. Uh, Concord F105. Now, I have not opened this yet. I figured I'd make it a surprise, so I'll call this an unboxing. Uh, I don't know where Rick got this, but um, I don't know, bottom of a swamp. <laughs> it's got, look at this side here, it's got some water things. I hope I don't open it up as like filled with a bunch of, you know, creatures inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got, so, you know, original cassette tape, invented in 1962 by Phillips Company. I don't know if it was a corporation back then. And then a big corporation took over Phillips and now it's gone. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, um, so let's check this out. I mean, this looks really cool. I'll show you the, show you the box here, what we got. Uh, here's swamp damage. I'm kind of, that concerns me. I'm not, I don't know where this was at. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it was a bottom of a swamp. Uh, but it's got a Concord cassette tape. I think I remember Concord cassettes. Uh, but it looks like it's got record and a bunch of stuff on it. Let's open this up. Let's, let's read some of the box. Um, <laughs> oh, you got to see this. Look at this. It's reading right here. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. But um, it says, <laughs> uh, important notice, damage should be reported to the railroad or truck company at once uh, and a claim made to them. What the heck is the railroad or truck company? I don't know. If package has been signed for as having been received a, in good condition, your claim should be made to concealed damage. These goods were packaged with great care by experienced packers, and we can not assume responsibility for damage occurring in our transit. Concord Electronics Corp, Los Angeles, California. Uh, that's interesting. It says railroad or truck company. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Because they delivered these on railroads and trucks. So they said report the damage to the railroad or truck company. Can you imagine that? You know, let's try this out. Now listen here. It's California, see if Dallas makes your members. Is this Conrail? I'll report a broken box. <laughs> I can only imagine that. <laughs> uh, okay, it says solid state stereo cassette tape deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got little bouncing needles, analog uh, output. So this could be really cool. I'm hoping for the best when I open this up. Though it could be mice droppings and bedding material. <laughs> uh, handle with care, contacts. Electronic products do not stack over six high or do not stack at this end up six high. You know, they were really, really concerned, I guess. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'm going to find in here. Ugh. It's all right. Well, look at this. This, I'm, this might actually be cool. Accessories. Connecting cord C dot 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 four. I don't know what that means. Is that an explosive material C four? 
It's a trap! What's that general's name in Star Wars? It's a trap! Wow. This is actually packaged kind of cool. Got a little box here. Fix my thing. Was Steve Jobs involved in this? Maybe he stole the idea from this tape deck. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. This thing looks like... It looks clean. It looks clean. Has this... I wonder if... I'm not going to say has this ever been opened. I always say that. It looks like it's never been opened. It's practically brand new. Uh, got some styrofoam. I don't know the date on this, so... I didn't look at... I looked this up, but I didn't really see it anywhere, but... I'm going to look it up again, maybe, but... Maybe there'll be a date somewhere for me on there. Oh, lovely. Any instructions? Hello! No, no chukacabras. All right, let's put this, like, nice and neat over here on the side. Oh, I'm really worried that some bugs are going flying out of this. But I had it sitting down here for under my desk for a little while so anything alive should have scurried out and found its home and somewhere inside somewhere else inside my house uh, I don't know uh, ew. oh that's just um, that's styrofoam it's been sitting there so long the styrofoam stuck to this uh, it looks in amazing shape look at that there's a little bit of dust on it let me get the <laughs> uh, it looks actually pretty good shape. Uh, I can see the back. Wow, this is like really nice. My goodness, let's get a date on this. Do we have anything on the back? Uh, caution, prevent electric shock, do not remove cover. Because I'm sure inside of this is actually like, uh, you ever watch the Flintstones? There's probably, probably a dinosaur in here. <laughs> Uh, made in Japan. Uh, when's the last time you've seen anything made in Japan? Even the Japanese have their stuff made in China. You know what I mean? So uh, this was made in Los Angeles, California. Holy crap. When's the last time you heard of anything made in the USA? You know what I mean? Uh, Concord Electronics. Uh, I don't have a date. It's got a serial number on the back of this. The model F105. Uh, Underwriters Laboratory doesn't have a date on it. So I'm going to have to look this up. And if I find it, I'll put the details in the post or make a comment. Let me know if you know what date this is. Um, I'm looking at the, the this kind of funny thing, late 60s. Just, you know, from the look of this, uh, the script on it, it looks late 60s. Like you'd see it on Laughing or something. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh, it's bright and shiny. I like bright and shiny things. <laughs> it's an old Dave Letterman bit. <laughs> uh, let's open this up. Accessories. Ooh. Everything. You know what? I think this is brand new. I think what that go the gooey stuff is, is just, it's the remnants. Let me hold it up. Uh, it's the remnants of the old rubber bands that held that together. It's turned all gooey. It's turned back into uh, tree material. <laughs> uh, but this is actually boxed really nice. I mean, this is you, you haven't seen boxing like this since the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they had uh, some good care that went into this. Um, I am going to assume that the belt drives in this are shot, uh, but. You know, why not give it a spin before we, before I open this up? This thing, if it was used maybe just for a little bit, it is in uh, excellent shape as the door falls off. Ah, but no, no worry. There's actually no hinges on here. I thought maybe it'd be broken plastic. It just literally just, uh, you could take it off. <laughs> Silly, I know. But there's like a little thing. Uh, but you can remove it, I guess. So let's put this over here so I don't break it. Uh, it doesn't have built-in speakers. And that's going to be interesting. 
auxiliary and line out. This is auxiliary in and lined out, and there's a mono stereo headphone jack. Um, I'm sure if I actually played music in this, um, you know, the YouTube police will come by and say, Oh, you stole my music, that's your music, and your music is demonetized instantly. <laughs> uh, let me get a plug and plug this in. At least see if I can get, you know, the little thing needs to spin. <laughs> I'm going to step back. <laughs> Will it explode? There was a time when tape players like me ruled the world. We played, we played music. We played books, we played everything that people wanted to hear. That time has passed, but I tell you, we will return. Rise, rise, my state for such layers. Rise, and we will take over the world again. Alright, I plugged it in. Ooh, it lights up. See the little lights? All right, uh, let's hit the play button. I don't know how this works. There's no instructions in here. So maybe that's why, maybe it's not, you know, has been open before, but I don't see any instructions. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning. Okay, let's stop this. Holy crap. Let's see if we get this. If their fast forward and rewind aren't working. But that's probably just the belts. The belts are worn out of here. And that, that actually should be an easy fix to replace the belts. But I hit play. She's spinning. The rubber wheel's in good shape and it's spinning. So I probably just have to open her up and replace the belts. But there is no reason why I can't get this thing to actually play, right? Um, let me put a tape in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, one of my friends back in the high school days, uh, she moved out to California and she sent me a CD. It's uh, Nick Cave. Anybody remember Nick Cave? Hmm. So let's play some Nick Cave. <gasps> it works! Let's hook some speakers up to it, see? Little needles bouncing on both sides. There's a, a record level here. But it looks like it is going to play. Um, let me hook some speakers up to this thing. I'll be right back. <laughs> um, all right, so let's plug us in. Got my home home stereo there. All right. Uh, wish me luck. Let's see here. Push up. Oh, yeah. We're listening to some Nick Cave. I think when this video ends, I'm going to play this <laughs> to its completion. <laughs> That's some good stuff right there, you know what I'm saying? Q, aren't you? Oh. That's pretty cool. It works. Not bad for 60s technology. But you can see the play is kind of, uh, you have to like actually push it up. Like, look at that. Pretty sweet, huh? See the little bounce of needles? Yeah. Very nice. I have to find some blank tapes and do some recordings. Pretty cool. Let's hit the eject. <laughs> nice. 
Well, this was pretty cool, wasn't it? Um, really cool piece of history here. Um, so I don't know the date of it, but you know we could find out. It works. Just have to get it in and replace the um, the drive belts. Uh, but it, the play function works. It just doesn't rewind or fast forward. But this is just a really nice piece of equipment here. A really nice piece of history. Um, at some point, I think I'll do a review on some boom boxes. Wouldn't that be cool? You know, came came out sometime after this. Uh, but I got something up on the shelf here. I can just pull down real quick. Uh, I guess they. You know, later on they kind of graduated to this style. Um, there's an old General Electric. So, you know, progress of time. Uh, do you remember when you were kids and it didn't quite invent, uh, the only way you could record music or dub music before the double cassette tape came out is if you put your tape recorders together, you know, <laughs> the speaker, I'll put them one and you record to the other. Uh, that's how we would dub tapes back in the day. <laughs> but, uh, Really cool, really cool. Let me know if you liked it. Please subscribe for more of these really goofy review videos and hopefully Rick brings me something really cool next week. Have a good day and please subscribe.